Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about cumulative frequency graph. Okay, here we go. Okay, to start with, when we say cumulative frequency, it is a running total of the frequencies. And a graph of running totals, known as the cumulative frequency graph, is a convenient way of determining the median, the quartiles, of the distribution. Now, to explain further about the concept of cumulative frequency graph, let's give an example. I have here the ages of teachers at a school are shown in the table. Look at this table here, age in years and in the frequency. And this is in a group continuous data, okay? Now, our task here is to draw up a cumulative frequency table for this data and then construct a cumulative frequency graph and use it to find the values for the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile. And let us see, give the interquartile range. And last but not the least is to find the 90th percentile. Okay? Let's start working with letter A, which is draw up a cumulative frequency table for this data. And this is the information that we will be needing in drawing up a cumulative frequency table. First thing is, look at this. This is age in years and then cumulative frequency. These are the two columns that we will be needing. And look at this now. Uh, age in years. Look at how I presented it. 0 to 20. Okay. So then 0 to 30 and so on and so forth with 70 as the highest number here in age in years. Next one is, how are we going to obtain the cumulative frequency? Remember, cumulative frequency is the running total. So I'm starting here with 0 because we don't have here actually from 0 to 20. Next one is 14 because here we have 14. And then next here is 45 because 14 plus 31 is 45. 45 plus 13 is 58. 58 plus 12 is 70. 70 plus 2 is 72. And yes, the total here is equal to 72. Okay? So that's how you do that. Up next is construct a cumulative frequency graph and use it to find the values for the median, the lower quartile and the upper quartile. Okay, in constructing a graph, we need uh, the x and y axis. And look at here in the graph that I have constructed where in the y axis is the cumulative frequency with 80 as the highest. And in the x axis will be the age in years and 70 as the highest so this look at here how i um constructed the graph how i divided them accordingly okay so it's very important to present it well next one is we are going to plot the points okay, okay. The first ordered pair here is look at this it's zero and 20 it's 20 okay. and zero next and one mean. is um 30 and 14 okay then next one is, look at this, it's 40 and 45. Next one is 50 and 58. Next one is 60 and 70. And the last one, which is 70, then 72. Okay, and then we are going to connect the dots smoothly. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay. This is now the graph, the cumulative frequency graph of this given data, okay? Now, with this given cumulative frequency graph, we can find out now the value of the median. First, remember that the median is the middle number. So just look at the total number of frequency, which is 72. Half of 72 is 36. So just look at 36 here, okay? 36 in the cumulative frequency. And then the corresponding value in the x-axis in age in years, what is that? That is 37. In other words, uh, the median is 37, okay? Okay, the next thing that we're going to find out is the lower quartile and the upper quartile, okay? So remember, the lower quartile is also one quarter or it's one-fourth of the total frequency, which is 72. So one-fourth of that is 18. Now, check out here, 18 in the cumulative frequency and then that corresponds in age in years which is 32 therefore the lower quartile is 32 and the upper quartile is just three quarters or three fourth of 72 which is 54 check in the data 54 there is um 48 therefore the upper quartile is 48 okay so that's how you do that 
for letter C, the question is, give the interquartile range. So since we now have the upper and the lower quartile, which is uh, 48 and 32, just subtract them. So our interquartile range is 16. Okay, so that's how you do that. And we are down to our last question, which is find the 90th percentile. Please note that as well as the median and the quartiles, we can find also the percentiles, okay? For example, to find the 90th percentile, just simply 90% of 72, which is 0.90 times 72 is equal to 64.8. Draw a line across from a cumulative frequency, the same thing that we have done before. So there you go, that's 64.8. Then down the horizontal axis, the value there is 54. Therefore, our 90th percentile is 54, okay? And that's all about the cumulative frequency graph. Thank you so much for watching and bye!